If you ever wonder what it's like to be a chef competing on the Food Network show, well, we are about to find out, Oh, Lexi. yeah. Oh, yeah. Local Arizona chef Matt Jordan is here to talk about his experience on the newest Food Network show. Welcome, chef. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, Absolutely. appreciate it. Yeah. Matt, yeah. this is crazy. I t Listen, you ready for this? Okay, yeah. Hit me with it. Tell him, Matt. We were chatting before we went on air. Brad Perry, Mr. Brad Perry over here, <laughs> local, Perry. local icon. <laughs> uh, I did my first television segment with him when I was nine years old. No so, way! Yeah, and, yeah. I'm 30, and I'm 31 now. Do you know what to say oh, like that? Just, you oh, you he just—oh, he just did totally right. Wow. Oh my you just made me. Well, I'm gonna go. You, yeah, thank you. Wow. This, this is being just, so great to see yeah, you. Thank you. And thank I'm gonna you. head out. Right, on the show. Wait, no, I'm just kidding. Matt. So, this is awesome. But I'm so proud. It was with your mom, which yes. is really cool. And now, full circle, you're back on our show here. Yes. Yeah. And we're talking about this food uh, competition. Yes. That you've done these a little bit before, but this is a new one. Yeah, so I've been competing on the Food Network for a decade now, and this is my 12th competition show with the Food Network. 24 and 24, Last Chef Standing. They take 24 different chefs, put us all up against each other through a series of different cooking competitions wow. for 24 hours straight. Yeah. 24, okay, so 24 and 24 and 24, because it's 24 chefs. 24 challenges in 24 hours? Uh, it's 24 hours and then 24 chefs. And gotcha. then the challenges come in, come in as they come. And, it's not uh, exactly 24 challenges. Yeah, all right, yeah. I thought they were really taking this theme yeah, and running with yeah, it. Yeah, but it was like no sleep, yeah, you know, say. cook all oh night. But gosh. when you're working in restaurants, it's kind of that culture anyway. You where kind you, of don't yeah. sleep and yeah, You have that's no life. <laughs> like your whole life is making $11 an hour, like cooking delicious it's $70 the bear. plates. It's yeah, the bear. it is the bear. It's the it bear. really, they <laughs> capture that very well. And I was going to say, this looks kind of stressful. I mean, how much stress was it? filming this particular show? Honestly, for me, it's not stress anymore. I have so much fun doing it. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I really thrive in like high pressure situations. I don't know what that says about me, but um, <laughs> yeah, you know, only a little bit sick, but uh, sick in the head, but it's, uh, it's a fun, it's a fun experience. You have the best talent from all around the nation. It's on the Food Network and you get to go on and showcase your talent. That's and, so cool. I think what I love too is that these shows actually get people wanting to cook. It doesn't yeah, scare exactly. them off. It's kind of neat. Well, 100%. And so I'm an executive chef and I create recipes for restaurants all across the country. And to me, food needs to be low barrier of entry for everybody at a $5 price point and at the $100 price point. Um, and so that's really my philosophy that even if you're not a chef, at least a chef can inspire you to cook in your own own home kitchen. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I am definitely not a chef. I'm kind of the furthest thing <laughs> away from we, being a chef. But you that. have some tips for us today. You're going to yes. show us how to make an incredible recipe. What are we going to make today, chef? Yeah. So sun-dried tomatoes are kind of an OG ingredient. Mm -hmm. And I really want them to make a comeback. They sit in your fridge for months. I went ahead and turned it into a pesto. Oh, so wow. I've got like pecorino romano, a little bit of parsley, garlic, shallots, the sun-dried tomatoes, salt, pepper, oil. Ooh. You just put it into a food processor, and I'm very much so in the belief of cross-utilization of ingredients. So this can stay in your fridge, and boom, you need a spoon for your pasta, goes into there your you pasta. Oh but today gosh. we're going burrata, so nice. still in the cheese family. I'm just going to take some of this, put it on the bottom of the bowl. Here, I'm going to move this out of the way so we can see that. There we go. And, and you guys, this smells amazing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it is pretty heavenly. And then I'm going to do my burrata, and my friend, I'm going to go ahead and cut this right in half, if you don't mind so. setting it. Turn it down. There we, we're going to see. There Beautiful. we go. Perfect. Oh, look at that burrata and center, then, you guys. Everybody loves some cheese. You know, yeah. what's the best thing on top of cheese? More cheese. Here it is. <laughs> I like to go Pecorino Romano. It's like a cheaper version of Parmesan. It's really nutty. It's spicy. It's got a ton of flavor, and it's only like six bucks for a block. That's so, right. So a little bit of that on top. Then we need some crunch. So I've got some toasted bread crumbs Ooh. right on top. A little bit of salt. You know what a friend of mine does? They take the breadcrumb from the toaster. <laughs> That's great. They do. They take it from the toaster. What toast are you like making in the, the morning? Uh -huh. the, which, yeah, the toast that you make. So after like a couple of days. It's Icon all, of innovation. Yes. Yeah, I love he that. Goes, he goes and takes that and puts Why it on Why dirty stuff. a pan Mother when you can just go? That's yeah. when you there said the breadcrumbs. I was like, oh, dude. so there and you go. And that's it. Is. Isn't that gorgeous? That's that like so gorgeous. like $24 in a in a restaurant. And you can make it at home for like 13 And bon appetit, my friends. And would you have some like toast points with this? Like what would you do with it? You totally could. I like to just fork and knife this sucker. Um, that way you get that real nice cheese flavor, but absolutely, use some grilled bread, no. sign me up. So okay. beautiful. Before we go, really quick, come in here, Mom. 
Here goes the lady who has come in here, Mom. <laughs> run in here. Stand next to the him. Mom. She's not mic'd up. Yeah. There goes Mom. mom. That this is the woman so who made it all happen. All happen right there. You're so, so nice, Brad. You're the man. You got to catch 2424 on the Thank Food you. Network, premiering April 14th. We'll see how Matt does here. So. Absolutely. All right.